Tony's Tractor Adventure. We'll run through some pictures here and then we'll show you the video at the end. Tell us what you think about the truck. Leave a comment below. We can take it, good or bad. Welcome back to the channel. We told you we was gonna show you a few more videos of the truck. We traded the other day. We traded in the Nissan Titan XD with a diesel. And we come home with the Ram Warlock 1500 Classic. And let me tell you, this thing is pretty awesome. Now the front end of this thing is just absolutely wicked. I just love how it is. And it, it doesn't have an air dam at the bottom. And the reason they do that is it has really high ground clearance. So you can see there that, you know, it, it's, it's got more ground clearance than, you know, your average, uh, you know, four wheel drive stock truck. But it also has the big, nice metal hooks on the tow hooks on the front, you know, and it's got the little off-road package on it. And I love the HID headlights. Uh, it's got the projection. And we were driving the other night when it was raining and that really worked well. That worked so much better than the, the standard uh, headlights that come with them. Comes with fog lights. Now it comes with, on the tires, it runs 275, 60, uh, 20s. And these are a street tire. And I will probably stay with that because I don't, uh, you know, I normally don't get off road too much. I'll pull a tractor out into a, a grassy field, but if it's muddy, I'm probably not gonna do that. So we, we drive a lot on the roads. It's nice to have the four wheel drive in the snow and the ice in the winter, but you know, of course, four, four wheel off-roading, it'll get very limited of that. You can see here some of the suspension. We turned the steering wheel so you can look up under it. It's uh, coal springs all the way around. It rides like a car, uh, but it's, you know, it's still firm enough like a truck to, to tow and uh, we're getting ready next week to go ahead and have the uh, gooseneck ball put in in the back and then we're going to have the uh, rhino liner sprayed in as well all right i'm laying down in the grass for you guys you see here you can see the underside of it it's got skid plates under all the important stuff it's just it looks like a really well heavy built truck the chassis is you know plenty plenty beefy i mean it has to be to tow what it's you know what it's rated at got big brakes disc, disc brakes all the way around uh, so there we are I kind of I mean I really like the hood the way it looks it's got this little decal on the top uh, and then it's got the little hood vents you know it's just for show but it really looks mean the whole truck just looks really mean you know like I said it's got the uh, 275 60 uh, 20 inch rims I love the black you know the factory black rims on the white truck especially with the uh, little mud guards over the wheels that are black it just sets it off it's just a it's just a real nice feature i really like the uh, door handles how they are whited out instead of chrome i think sometimes that the uh, you know there's too much chrome on a vehicle i really like this also if you look at the rear windows they're tinted uh you know they're still legally tinted there is no legal tint on the back of them but they're tinted darker than the fronts are and i i had my windows tinted on the front of my Nissan and I'm not doing that anymore. I, it, I find it hard at night to see out when it's raining or any kind of, uh, you know, if it's really dark. So I'm going to leave them that light tint that comes from the factory. Well, I really hadn't found anything that I just don't like about it. You can look at the back of the truck here and the, the exhaust looks really good. We'll get you a little sound bite on the exhaust here. It sounds really mean. Uh, and like I said, I just hadn't found anything that I don't like about the truck yet. You know, like on the Nissan I showed you in the other video, like this stuff was loose. And uh, on this one, it's all tight. It's all, they've done a really good job in the fit and finish of it. This, you know, most of the time this is chrome. The, the ram head on the back is chrome. This black just sets off, you know, it's just, it's such a contrast on that white. I really like that. And then uh, here's your, you know, your rear backup camera. And it's placed about perfectly. And I love the infotainment center. 
uh, display. It's got a huge infotainment center, and I, I make fun of the other day. I didn't know what an infotainment center was. You know, it's, it's funny. We bought this truck, and I have not even opened the tailgate. I don't know if it's one of the soft, you know, soft tailgates or the, uh, you know, if it's a, my other truck it had, you pull this lever and it would just fall down real slowly. Let's see what this one is. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it is what it is. I can live with that. It's just a regular tailgate. We're going to, uh, this coming week, we're having uh, the, uh, uh, I think it's a B&M uh, hitch uh, gooseneck put in here. And then they're going to also spray in the Rhino liner. So we're going to have all that done at one time. And it'll have the uh, wiring put in it. Everything will be done all at once. And uh, so we'll be ready to pull the uh, gooseneck. Now, I never pull anything over 10,000 pounds. Uh, our gooseneck is rated at like 7,000 pounds. Uh, so even if we put a couple, you know, a thousand pounds up into the bed of the truck and then, you know, we max out the trailer, at most we're going to pull is about 9,000 pounds at, at the absolute most. And our travel trailer, it's rated at about 9,500 pounds. I really like in the back corners of the truck, they've got these LED work lights or, you know, the bed light, cargo lights, and they actually work. They're in the right place. We were uh, driving the other night, it was dark, and I turned them on just to see, and it actually, you know, shines light where you need to see. You can see at the back of the truck, it's got that, you know, it's got a real nice looking cab. Uh, the back window is electric. We'll show you that. I know it's nothing big, but for old country boy like me, it's a big deal. Hey, uh, I, got, I took the microphone off here. You can, this is my little wireless microphone, but what I want you to do, I want you to hear the exhaust. This thing's got a tuned exhaust. I'm gonna put it down beside it, and hopefully you can hear how mean it sounds. It's a very throaty uh, exhaust, and uh, you know, it's not overly loud, it's not obnoxious, but it just sounds very good. It's, it's got that mean uh, sound of a V8. All right, this is the uh, the dash and, and all the you know the gauges gauge cluster, and you know you can on the steering wheel there's a little button you can go through and cycle through what you're interested in. It's, it's just an inf information system now. It's, it's like a heads up information system. So you got you know your speeds. It's got all kind of stuff on here, uh, stuff that I don't even I haven't even tried yet. So uh, it's got you can get your text messages right here in front of you. Uh, you can look and see what music's playing. You got your tow, your trailer tow stuff. You know, you can set up different trailers. You got like five trailers you can set up on this thing. Uh, trip meters, trip A and B, and then we're back to the fuel mileage. All right, here's the you know the steering wheel. It's just a really nice steering wheel. It's heated. Um, this this package is the Warlock package. It's got a lot of stuff on it that you know it's a it's a pretty nice truck. It's got a lot of the things: heated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, it's got the trailer package already included. Well, let's look at the steering wheel just a little bit. Uh, it's got your, you know, your buttons here. These are the buttons I was pushing to turn the, the gauge up here, the information, and you can go left and right and get more information. You get your voice recognition and your phone, turn it on and off. And on the right side, you have your standard uh, uh, cruise control. But at the top, you have gears. You can actually shift your gears. If you want to take a little bit more control of the, of the truck, you can actually shift gears right here. So if you're going, you know, you're going up a real steep hill and you got a trailer on it, instead of you know letting it shift on its own, you can you can you know do that. Or if you're going down a really steep hill, you can keep it in a lower gear. All right, here is the headlights on the left side of the steering wheel. It's all automatic. Uh, this little button here is the one that controls your cargo light in the back. This dims your. This is nothing new. This is pretty standard stuff. This dims your um, your lights on your dash, and also it turns on your interior lights push this in and it turns your fog lights on and I'm just gonna obviously leave it on auto all right here's the it's nothing fancy here this is the standard you know standard uh, uh, window controls pretty much you know standard it just does have the nice little feature here that has the electric fold-in mirrors like when you go through a car wash or you pull into a parking spot you can just pull these uh, push this button and the mirrors come in let me show you You know, that's pretty, that's pretty snazzy for a country boy, I'm telling you. I, I never would have dreamed that something like that would even be made. All right, here's the key. Now, this has got remote start. Like I said, this package has got a lot of stuff on it. It's not a, 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 a Lariat. No, excuse me, a Laramie. I get my Fords and my, my uh, uh, Rams mixed up. 
it's not a Laramie uh, package, but it's got a lot of the stuff. Now the difference is, is the your next package up will have the push button start, and you can walk up to the door and touch the door, and it'll sense you're there and unlock the door as long as you have the key fob in, and you just push the button to start. This one has you know uh, keyless entry and all that, and remote start, and it you know it automatically turns the air conditioner on, uh, or it turns the uh, heat heated seats on and the heat on and the steering wheel on, depending on what the temperature is. But it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have the the push button start. All right, here's the gear shift. Now this took me some getting used to. Every vehicle I've ever owned has been either a stick shift, or you had the automatic transmission shift in the center, or you had the uh, shifter on the column. So every vehicle I've ever drawn has had, it driven has driven had a shifter on the column or in the center. So this is just you know if you want to put it in gear, you put your foot on the brake and put it in reverse, and uh, neutral drive. That's it. That's all it is to it. And this has got the uh, this truck's got the 5.7 uh, Hemi and it's got the eight speed transmission, it's four wheel drive. If you can look down here a little bit lower, you can see your controls for a four wheel drive. Everything here is push button. You know, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't have to uh, manually put in four wheel drive. You just push it while you're on the go. On the fly, four wheel drive, I believe that's what it's called. Now here's, here it's got, it comes with a trailer tow package and it, uh, when you adjust the, the brakes up and down, it shows on your dash, and uh, you can also look at the information on your infotainment center under the controls and settings, somewhere in there. I've seen it. I know it's there. There's still a lot of buttons I haven't pushed yet. you got your tow haul. You can turn off your traction control. I don't know why you would do that. We went through a horrendous rainstorm the other day, and uh, I noticed when I got on it, it never slipped. So I think I would leave that on. Uh, and then you also have, you can control your, your, your uh, heated seats and steering wheel through here. Are down at the bottom here you have manual buttons if it's what you like you can go you know your left seat your right seat and the heated steering wheel and then it's got uh, this is the uh, parking assist like when you're backing up uh, something that's you know behind you and you can't really see it'll start beeping at you and let you know it's got a radar back there let you know that uh, there's something behind you all right this is the uh, you know it's got the automatic um, climate control you can you can but it also you know it's got the manual it's got left and right sides uh, it's got your you know your heated rear window the front windows uh, and then you can you know it's just a standard air conditioner but it's automatic you can set it by temperature and when you come up here to the uh, dash you can push on climate and you can run everything together or separate you can be synced or not uh, I'm gonna put it back on auto and you're gonna hear the fan kick up but that's okay you know what's going on so we put it on auto and it's gonna try to bring the temperature of the truck back down and you know you can leave it synced or you can not and then say your wife wants let me try to not put my finger in there your wife wants 82 and you want 73 well, you can do that or you can push sync and freeze her out this is another nice feature i like it it's got the uh, 110 uh actually it says 115 volt you know plug in so you know your your wife or you whoever's riding with you you know got their laptop they can plug this in and it'll run a laptop or charge you know a phone charger uh, or anything like that so you know there's just odd things you might need to charge it's not made to run appliances or you know like skill saws or stuff like that it's not that kind of plug-in it's made to basically run a laptop or charge a tablet or you know something along that lines all right this is where it's, it's a cool thing I didn't figure it out I, I didn't bring my phone with me for this video let me show you but you it the cable plugs in up under here and you have multiple cables and it's placed for two phones and you set your phone right there and it's got this little plastic thing that holds your phone into place so that it, you know you actually have a place to put your phone that is a novel idea uh, so many cars nowadays that they, they come from the factory and there's nowhere to put the phone you know when I transferred all my stuff over from the Titan the Titan had nowhere to put the phone and I, I use this big contraption on the window and just today, uh, I was going to put that up there, and I actually realized how to how to work this thing down here, uh, how it works. It's so convenient. The phone is sitting right here, handy, uh, where where you know it's not in the way. This one's got a nice feature here. It's got a, a glove box at the top, and then it's got like your all your paperwork and your manuals and stuff here at the bottom. You know. I don't know of anybody that still uses gloves. I'm sure there's somebody does, but it's just a nice place when you're, you're traveling to put things. And if you look here and there, these little cubbies on both sides, there's little cubbies everywhere 
for, uh, you know, to put little things, if you're on a long trip, you know, maybe your wife wants to put her earrings in here or something like that. You know, it's just little, little neat places. Now this is the, uh, it's got the, uh, the mirror that turns green on the inside and the outside mirror. So when the lights uh, hit it at night, they, they darken down, they become green, so it doesn't blind you. No, no, all the mirrors turn green. All right, here is your, it's got the garage door. It's got three, you can have up to three garage door openers or gate openers, whatever you got. And then here's the button that will open your rear window and you've got map light. This is a neat little feature right here. It's got a little LED light that shines down at, at this area below it. It's just a very uh, weak light, but it gives you just enough light at night that there's a reference to where everything is, but yet you're not uh, distracted by it. All right, this is the infotainment center. I love seeing the infotainment center because, you know, up until this point, I've never, uh, I never knew what it, I've heard it vaguely here and there, infotainment center, but this is what it is. I used to call it a radio, but now it's an infotainment center and I see why. I mean, you've got satellite radio, you've got AM, FM, uh, and it's another thing, a little feature that I really love about Ram that I wish most uh, car manufacturers would do. Ram offers, when you buy a new vehicle, you get a year's worth of uh, XM radio or Sirius, X, Sirius X, XM radio. You get a year's worth. So you really get an understanding if you think it has a value to buy it or not, you know, on a, on a continuing basis. You also have the media here where you can plug in and play music off your phone or you can use the USB, a USB port and, you know, plug a, plug a USB uh, thumb drive in and play music off of it. Uh, I, I briefly showed you the, the climate control here. You got the climate where you can do it automatic or you can do it manual. You can change your heated seats and steering wheels here or you can do it down below. Uh, let's go to the U apps here. There, there again, you've got all kind of stuff. You can tap this while you're going down the road and see the see the back. Now, this big screen here is awesome. I love this big screen. It really, and as you turn the wheels, as you turn steering wheels, the little lines turn and I found them to be very very accurate I was really surprised how accurate that is it really uh, is a neat neat when you're trying to back into a parking spot you get back out of that and you got uh, there's so many buttons and stuff here's a cool feature why hadn't anybody thought of this before you uh, uh, have your entire uh, manual for the vehicle in the dash and the coolest thing about it is it's got pictures and uh, the guy that was selling me the truck, uh, TW was selling me the truck, and he, you know, he's like, it's, you know, it's got pictures, and you know, I said, it's got pictures, and you know, you know, you you, you hit me up, you know, this is the right speed right there, I know, because I, I need I need me some pictures. Here's just a quick look at the door panel. This truck has got like really uh, uh, just basic door handles. They they look good. They're really they're really clean and stuff. But it's made for like if you're going to be out playing in the dirt, and and you you know you can clean this up really good. Another feature this truck comes with, I don't know if they all come with it, but this one come with the uh, really, really heavy Ram floor mats. I mean, these things are gonna last the life of the truck. You get them dirty, you bring them out, dust them off. You can take and uh, uh, put them, you know, pressure wash them. Even. They're, they're just a really heavy uh, floor mat. It's gonna last a long time. Here's another little thing. It's got electric seats on it. And, uh, you know, that's a nice feature to have. Check this, uh, the mat out, it goes all the way across, uh, and it's a real heavy mat, you know, it, it, uh, it's going to last a long time. This is, like I said, you can pull this dude out and you can, uh, you know, you can uh, pressure wash this, and, and it's really heavy. Oh, look here. I bought this truck and you know that was here. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can. Basically, it looks like a trash can. I guess you could put some ice and coke in there. I'm sure that's only what people would put in there would be ice and coke. One of the things I love about this truck is the seats, flipping them up and down. Well, the Nissan, when you flipped them up to get the seats back down, you had to pull this little lever, and it was a pain in the butt sometimes. It wanted to really be hard to do. Pull that lever out and pull it down. Well, this one, you just pull it up and pull it down. It's no big deal. Here's another great feature is you roll this dude out like this, these little legs out, flip it out, and then you have a flat surface back here, and it's, it's not... You know weak this is very very strong so you could put your groceries this makes this thing a grocery getter uh or we're going to put a, a this big cloth thing that goes back here so the dogs can get back here and it doesn't get everything dirty these just fold back around i'm curious to see if this side's got 
the, the, the so-called trash can or storage. Yes, look here. Same thing. And hey, that's deep, man. That's a, that's a lot of storage that you know you wouldn't have otherwise. That's funny. I bought the truck, had no idea it was there. It has air conditioner vents in the back and a 12 volt. You know, it doesn't have the uh, controls in the back from the air conditioner. Mom and Dad's got to control the tr control the vents. So, uh, but it does have the air conditioner vents, and that's fine. That you know, the people back here are going to be comfortable. Now, this is another feature. Is this piece right here? This is where you store your tools, and this is where you store the most important tool in the truck. So you make sure you put that right there. And uh, but it's got one on the other side as well, and uh, gives you a lot of extra storage. And like I said, just put the seat down, no big deal. You know, it's got this little deal in the front. If, you got, if you're just two adults in the back, you know, you can, it's got drink holders and armrests built in. It makes it travel a lot better. It's got drink holders down here. It's just a, I mean, a, a grown person sets back here really well. I don't, you know, six foot tall guy could really, can really do well here. Just take a quick look under the hood here. You know, it's, it's, it's neat, it's orderly, it, I mean, it looks good, it's, it's, you know, it's a good looking engine, it's got more power than you can ever dream of, this thing's like a sports car, four wheel drive with a bed on it. Uh, quick story, I pulled out the other day, the day we bought it, and uh, I needed to get out in some pretty severe traffic in Clarksville, Tennessee, and uh, I've been used to driving the diesel, well, you know, I hammered down on it like I would the diesel, and the, and the rear end come out from under me, and it embarrassed me. I got to, I got under control and got on across the road and everything was fine. But this thing is a beast off the line. I have never had a truck as fast as this. And it's got tuned exhaust. Uh, it's not overly loud, but it's just absolutely mean. It just sounds mean. Hey, I just want to take this time to thank you for watching my channel. If you want to see more of these truck videos, give me a little comment below. Hey, God bless and have a great day.